fast, babe I just wanna feel everything I wanna feel the wind on my skin I wanna feel the wind on my skin I wanna feel the wind up, wind up It is the second day of our road trip and right now we are still in Penang. We are going to be eating a lot in this episode. We started off with a very famous roti bakar place. We ordered roti butter kaya and also roti canai telur goyang cheese along with a couple of drinks. Luckily, there weren't that many people yet so we got a table. Taste wise, both the roti baka and roti chanai taste pretty good, and I would say that it's worth the walk from our hotel. After our first breakfast, we are actually heading to another restaurant which serves breakfast. It is called Makan Pagi. We wanted to try the kopi orang kita that is served here. And I also ordered nasi lemak sotong which is a squid nasi lemak for takeaway. Sotong. Sotong. According to my husband, the coffee tastes pretty good. It tastes very potent and very different from the over-the-counter coffee that we've tried before. If you are driving in Penang, you must remember to install a parking app so that you don't get fined when you park. The parking fee is not expensive at all. It just takes a few minutes for you to set everything up and make sure that you pay for it before you exit your car. We are now at the Penang street art area. There are a lot of lanes or alleys that you could go to that will have random street arts or aesthetic places that you could take photos at. I love how all the buildings and even a clothing store has that 80s, 90s era Kopitiam style interior. Some of them even repurpose it to have a combination of both modern and retro style. If you have never tried durian before, you could try some right here. As the weather could get quite hot in Malaysia, there are a lot of drinks and dessert shops nearby. This is a thrift store which focuses more on sneakers. We were pretty full at the time but the next time we are in Penang we will be sure to try this Armenian Chinese Muslim restaurant. Hi guys we are on our second day and now we are just finished with 
touring the street art area. Apparently, there are a lot of alleys that we miss, but due to the weather, I don't think we will be going out to take some more photos. We might be heading to the next stop, which is Chu Jetty. This morning, we had our breakfast at Hutton Lane uh, Roti Baka. Our next stop after Chu Jetty will be Bukit Bendera. We are hoping it's not too hot, and I guess I'll see you guys then. For your first time in Penang, you must not skip the Chu Jetty. It is a location with wooden stilt houses built around a walkway in a waterside village. This place exists since the 1800s. I'm glad that they preserve some of the old style architecture of simple houses by the water. We went there in the afternoon which is not the best timing but if you are there towards the evening especially during golden hour you will get the best weather and lighting. After a hot and humid afternoon, we went to take shelter in the Mine News, which is a convenience store. My husband went straight to the mineral water aisle and we also got some snacks. <laughs> And then we are at our next destination which is Penang Hill or as we Malaysian call it Bukit Bendera. To go up the Penang Hill you need to take the funicular train. I will put the link to the website for you to book the ticket in the description box. Ooh, on a low season period, you could just walk into the counter to purchase the ticket but if you are traveling from outside of Malaysia or during peak season, I would recommend that you book in advance via their website. After you exit the train, you could go to this area which has a lot of food court style eating place. We ended up ordering chakwetia which we do not recommend. It doesn't taste that good. At least not at this location. We have definitely tasted better ones. Now after we had our meal, we then went out to explore. After a long day, we decided to take the buggy to take us even more uphill because at this point, I don't think we could walk anymore. The buggy will stop at a couple of spots for you to take photos with a view from the hill.
they also have a mosque for Muslim and nearby the train station on our way back there is an observation area which you could take more photos at and also see the view of almost the entire Penang city before we head to our next destination we of course had to get a Penang Hill fridge magnet and on to our last destination for today which is Padang Browns Zulaika Pasumbo place we went there quite early but luckily the store is already open I think we were one of their first customers of the day you could pick any of the displayed items and then they will chop it up and mix it with the special sauce that they make be careful not to take too much of the seafood because it can get quite expensive the price will be based on the items that you take we ended up not finishing the entire plate so we instead asked them to wrap it up for takeaway and that's it for our adventure in Penang I hope you guys enjoyed this video for our next destination we will be heading to Kedah so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Come to a close. Da 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 Ooh la la, be my lady. Ooh la la, read another sign. Ooh la la, hear your lullaby. Ooh la la, and all these butterflies won't give up 'cause you're the one. Da 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 da